Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a simple automatic light system so that when it gets dark your lights will come on automatically. Uh, this is just a little example I'm going to show you first. We've got some blue flasher lights on our mini copter landing pad and a couple of red flasher lights up there. We've also got ceiling lights inside our heli port uh, so yeah we'll wait till it gets dark and I'll show you them coming on okay so there you go you can see they've come on uh, it's got sufficiently dark enough for them to trigger uh, you've got your blue sort of landing lights there a couple of nice red flasher lights up there and yeah our ceiling lights uh, illuminating the inside of our heliport Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our solar panels. We place our root combiner. Place our electrical branch and our blocker. Power out, combined power out of the root combiner goes into the bottom of the electrical branch. We place our battery. The right hand top of the electrical branch goes into the input on the battery. The left hand of the electrical branch goes into the block pass through of the blocker. And the power in connects up to the power output on the battery. Then we place our splitter. We take power out from the blocker to the splitter which will give us our three outputs for our three lights. Place our three lights and wire up all three lights. Obviously you can do your wiring a lot neater than I'm doing, I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes. That's it and that's all and I don't think that's actually connected up. There you go, it's connected up now. Okay, so to go through again, two solar panels, they get wired into your root combiner. The root combiner goes out into your electrical branch. The right hand output of the electrical branch goes to your the input of the battery. The left hand of the electrical branch goes into the block pass through of the blocker. The power out goes to the splitter and the power input comes from the power output of the battery. I'll include a diagram just to simplify this so you can uh, get a better idea. And now all we have to do is wait for night time. And there you have it. It's got sufficiently dark enough and there's our three blue flashing lights working perfectly. Thank you.